Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Sonia and in today's video I thought it would be a fun thing to share an early summer late spring decorate with me video. I have recently redecorated my house for I guess it would be late spring to early summer type of decor. Um, some I will be adding some more summer touches later on, but this will be it for now until the warmer weather hits. I'm located in Canada and we are just, just uh, starting with the summer type of weather warmer weather i should say not even summer so i am still feeling the spring very much things are just starting to bloom we haven't even fully gotten leaves yet on the trees so i did not feel like it was really appropriate to start decorating for the summer so i just kind of added um, took all the Easter really spring and stuff down and added kind of in between spring and summer decor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is a long one. Tons of inspiration for you here for your own decorating and let me know what you think and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Starting off with this pot, I'm going to be bringing back the sticks that I've had here for a while. Um, I've had these sticks for a long time now and they just work here. Um, like I said, I've tried with the plant and it just wasn't working for me. And uh, uh, these are tried, true and tested sticks that I've had here before and um, they had worked so I brought them back in. Who knows, maybe down down the road I'll get something else. Um, I, I thought I wanted a tall plant in here, but the pot is fairly tall to begin with. And I think a tall plant just looks silly. So sticks for the win. I've seen a couple people on YouTube going straight for the summer decor. I'm not sure that I'm quite ready to do the summer decor yet uh, we don't even have any flowers popping out of the ground yet here in Can Ontario Canada they are just slowly s starting the forsythia started to bloom a little just started getting buds so like I said I don't think I'm quite ready for the lemons and all the summer decor quite yet so i wanted to add some more spring into the home um, and keep this for another month or month or month and a half so i added that wreath that was just a boxwood wreath that came from i got the boxwood from a Hobby Lobby a couple years back and I made a wreath out of it and then I'm going to play around with the vase I had this vase here before with the pink flowers but I felt like I wanted something a little different so I did end up bringing the this other vase that I had or a vessel I'm not sure how to call it and I thought I wanted the pink flowers again but then I changed my mind on that as I usually do it's a process until I achieve the look that I'm going for. I'm kind of stuck on using pretty much signature items here like that little pod and then the, the truck and then I just switch out um, items that I add to it. For Easter I had carrots, I've had eggs before um, in here and um, now I just thought a little bit of a nice yellow pop of color would look good considering um, 
the other the other stuff has a green in it but once i put the yellow ones this is when i had realized that the pink flowers weren't really working for me so i'm going to swap those for some greenery I do decorate on a budget most of the time. Most of my greenery comes from Dollarama or Dollar Tree. Occasionally I will pick it up at Michael's when it's on a huge discount. And if I'm lucky enough, um, sometimes I find good pieces uh, thrifting as well. A lot of my decor pieces are thrifted that I had upcycled or my old decor that I had upcycled and created something new. I just think there's so much um money going out all the time and that the core is not something that i budget a lot of money for and i like to reuse things and not uh, toss them in a the garbage do i buy new decor once in a while of course i do um, but i try my hardest to recycle some of my old decor and create new ones well i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up it was a quick and easy decorate with me today uh, and i am going to be kind of going through my house cleaning it and decorating and sharing all that with you so make sure your notification bell is turned on and uh, make sure you are subscribed and like i said this decor that i'm adding could easily be used all year round so until next time hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching this time i will be cleaning inside the fireplace as well not not necessarily inside but where the little opening is because i do find the dust settles there as well and then if i turn it on it ends up smelling like burning dust so i although i hope i don't have to turn it on until um fall again but you never know <laughs> so i just wanted to dust that as well this is an electric fireplace but we did kind of make it look like it's built in so i do not want to move it because i have um is it caulking all around it so i don't want to uh break that so this is staying put but before, when I used, to, whenever I did a spring decorate uh, clean, cleaning, I would move the fireplace and clean around it. And now we are going to be moving into some decorating, but for some reason I lost the footage from where I put up the vase with those flowers as well as my lantern. Um, so here they are, and I'm going to add this new bowl to me. This was a new DIY that I created on my DIY channel just this past week, and I absolutely love it. I was trying to do a few... Um, 
olive atelier dupes and this one um, has to be my favorite and I just added some moss balls where they're actually moss eggs but nobody can tell that they're still eggs i just think they look really good inside of it so i'm moving on to my little side table and for those of you that have been watching and following along i finally found the pictures so i'm going to add those as well as another diy that i created this vase again same dupe uh, olive atelier dupe and i absolutely love the vase i think it turned out exactly the way I wanted it to based off of the picture that I had found online from that store and I'm adding some of these stems these are from Dollarama as well as the pink ones that are on top of the fireplace are from Dollarama <music> Now moving on to a coffee table, I'm putting my black candelabras here that I've had uh, for a while now and in this spot probably for past two, three seasons, but I just love the way they look. So this is what I'm doing. And also I just wanted to say that I don't have a specific style of decor. It is, I, I decorate with things that make me happy and I decorate it the way I like it. It is my home. I get to be in it every single day. So I want to decorate it the way it makes me happy. Uh, whether that's decor that I've had for five years or 10 years or something brand new. Um, it, Like I said, if it makes me happy, it's, it's what I use to decorate with. If it um, doesn't serve me, even though if it's in style and everybody's doing it, I will not put it in my home. Now the plant that I have taken from my front foyer, I'm going to be adding it into the corner here and I did put it into this pod which was a thrifted pod that I upcycled along again making it a dupe from one of those uh, pods that you can find at the Olive Atelier store. So this is about it for decorating. I am just going to give a quick vacuum of the floor and then I'm going to wash it and then I'm going to show you a little finish tour.
so here it is i am very happy with the way it turned out i really wish there was a smell vision here that you can smell what this room smells like it smells fresh and clean and i'm so happy that i got it all done well i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and stay tuned for more home spring refresh type of videos so until next time hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. have been cleaned and dusted i move on to putting my decor back onto my hutch and for these plates again this is another thing that i stopped doing i used to wash everything but i wash them after i use them so i don't see the point of washing everything out of the cupboards again so i am just you the the ones that are on the display i just take a clean rag and i just wipe the dust off if there is any um, and that's it just water and clean water and that's it and it seems to work just fine um, instead of taking everything and washing it with soap and water and the whole process so this is one thing that I have stopped doing so once I add all the decor back I am going to all the plates back I'm going to add the decor as well So selfish and made you believe that you're not good enough, but you're all I need. I take you places that you've never been. I would give you the world if you let me try again. Yeah, just give me one more chance. I swear I'll try my best to always be there. And I I do feel that this hutch could use some sort of a vintage um, painting or a picture in uh, the bottom shelf there uh, to kind of match the one on top but uh, I don't have one so maybe that's something that I should keep an eye out when I go thrifting. I do feel that that spot feels a tad bit bare. I also did not add any plants or uh, florals into these vases. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it that way, but for now, that's how it's going to stay. And now I'm going to move on to my bar card. And <laughs> this take, took a several attempts to get it right. I can't show what you mean to me because I don't know what to do. After adding the box with greens I did feel that I didn't love it so I went ahead and got these white flowers I did pick these up at Michael's a few years back and they were on the cheaper end <laughs> of um, their florals but I've been using them throughout the house for like I said a couple years now and I do love the way they look and I think um, just w w how everything was shaping out this l was the best choice mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to move on to my dining table and give it a good wipe down. I'm going to clean the top, the legs, the sides, and all the chairs. This is probably my least favorite thing to do. I just find it takes so much time and <laughs> it's, I don't know, I just don't love doing this part. <clears throat> but let me tell you guys. I'm so glad that I had moved the kids out of eating at this table, the daycare kids, because they were here for several months and the amount of dirt because we did lunch and they also did crafts on this table. And even though I had a tablecloth, there were paint and Play-Doh stuck in crevices, food stuck in crevices. And it's just, I'm so glad that I had moved them to a smaller table that I can just, um, keep for daycare purposes and uh, a lot easier to clean because I can scrub it with all sorts of, th of things where I can't really take a very, um, what was it, porous um, items to this table. But uh, yeah, so I'm glad I figured that one out. Just give me one more chance, I swear I'll try my best to always be there. And I want you to know that I'm lost without you, I'm not So if you've been here on my channel for a while, you know I like to go into my garden and get greenery to put into my vases i don't love the store-bought flowers but i love uh, branches and just random things out of the garden so i went and i cut down i have between so my mother-in-law lives next door and between two of our yards we have probably about six lilac bushes and they are just starting to bud with leaves so i went out and i cut down the ones that I knew I was going to need to cut down anyways because they were maybe in a path or walking path and right at my eye level or the daycare kids eye level so I cut those off and now I'm just cutting them to fit them into this vase and this was a DIY project that I shared over on my DIY channel it was a, a restoration hardware dupe so if you want to check that out make sure you head on over to my DIY channel to see that and a couple other ones that I duped but I am just like I said cutting it down so I can add these branches and I love the little leaves on it and I think it's just screams spring and I love the way it looks and now it's been a few days since I've decorated when I'm editing this video and the leaves had opened up even more so it looks even better now but let me, this is a free thing so if you have access to budding um trees or uh, i mean branches or bushes or whatever um bring them into your house see how they look because you might be surprised what the out uh the look that's gonna give you it's gonna be something that you're gonna love and to finish it all up i'm going to vacuum up the floor and then i'm going to also give it a good wash And here it is. I absolutely love the way this turned out, except the bottom shelf on a hutch. I do feel I need to get something. I think it's very spring. 
scream spring with all the different greeneries that I have here and uh, yeah and I like the earthy tones it's just I just love the way it turned out let me know what you think <laughs> do you love it as much as I do or is it just eh? like I said my space is my space I do it up the way you know makes me happy and that's how should be your space you know I'm just here to provide you with some inspiration or ideas but you do you uh, and do what makes you happy well thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and i'll see you all in my next video thanks so much for watching So now the couches have dried and this is the next day and I'm going to put all the pillowcases back on and get the couches all set up and then we're gonna proceed to decorating. I've tried sometimes, but you're making me nervous. No, I've realized that I can't live without you. did want to give the top of the coffee table a wipe down I did not do this because the pillows were sitting on it the day before so I'm going to wipe it down and then I'm going to be adding just a very very simple decor piece to it because my husband has been complaining that he cannot see the TV with the vases and the flowers in it even though they are not even that tall but it is what it is and I'm tired of listening to him complain about it so I decided just to add a low profile um, uh, um, what is it called a bowl yes a bowl and I had DIY this bowl just this week over on my DIY channel and I absolutely love it it was one of those high-end dupes I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of paper mache type of bowls at restoration hardware has some all, all of uh, atelier has some there's lots on Etsy as well as just a whole bunch of other stores online uh, and I had this perfect bowl that I wanted to kind of do something with. I love the shape of it, but I wasn't 
all that pleased with the look of it anymore and when I came across all these paper mache bowls it just came all together in my mind so I and I absolutely love the way it looks on this coffee table and then I'm going to move on to the side table and use another DIY vase that I made and just add some simple yellow flowers to it just to add a little bit of touch of color here and then I'm going to add just a couple other decor pieces to the side table. decorate in my family room but it did take me forever to do it and here it is I love how fresh and clean it looks um, it's simple decor but just enough of it the everything smells like I said I wish we had a smell tube <laughs> so you can smell how clean and fresh everything smells i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and i will see you all in my next video thank you all so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you so very much thrifted this basket a while back and I like to keep my Alexa in here just because I find it so ugly and it, I use it all the time when I'm cooking so I like to have it in here uh, kind of tucked away and then I also keep my baby monitor in here for when I'm up here uh, and the kids are sleeping so I can have an ear on them um, most of the time chargers end up in here oh, and glass cleaners end up in here and all that stuff so I just decluttered it and then just put um, what I need to be in here for now I've also decided to bring my soda stream over it was in that garage that had all my toaster and my kettle and but it was just um, way too crowded for it to be there so I decided to bring it here it did need it to be wiped down a little bit and uh, I was going to put it right in the corner well over by the basket just was trying to figure out which corner to put it and I think this is going to be a better spot for it instead of being so crowded in the garage there uh, we do not or I should say my husband doesn't like having too much stuff on the counters but I feel like I need a little bit of decor just to break down the the whiteness um, so I will be adding just um a little decor here I have a little um, easel that's going to hold a cookbook that I've been using quite a bit it is a, the cookbook is called the perfect loaf and I've been using it quite a bit for baking bread so I thought it would be perfect to have it sitting here
Now I'm going to move on to the opposite side of the stove and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start off by wiping everything down and then I'm going to add some decor. And I usually like to add a little bit of wood in here, like I said, just to soften up the white. So I'm going to add some of the these cutting boards. I did thrift these. Well, actually, a friend of mine thrifted them for me. <clears throat> she does thrift store a lot off more often than I do. So whenever she finds things that she thinks I like, she usually sends me pictures of it and then picks them up if I want them. The issue that I have with these two sides is to find the right balance of uh, decor to kind of have a balance and I always struggle with that so I will be playing around a little bit here with that as well. To move over to my island and give it a good wipe down before I add any decor to it.
so I went in with some fresh flowers uh, from the garden just some branches and um, because I've been loving how that looks over in my dining room so I went ahead and did the same look here I have not figured out what I want to put into that basket so it will be into that bowl I mean so it will be empty for now my world is spinning round, round, round Oh, I want you now, now, now My world is spinning round, round, round And I want you now, and I want you now And I want you now And now I'm going to decorate my floating shelves in my coffee bar. Uh, this is a definitely a collection of uh, thrifted items as well as a different types of textures and materials. I've got stone, I've got ceramic, wood, and then I also have lots of gold touches here. I just need 
just want you, I just need you, I know what it is you do. I just wanna love you, I just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. And this concludes you. this long video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did leave me down a comment are you guys almost done your spring cleaning finished a long time ago or haven't even started i would love to know so until next time hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you all so much for watching where you wanna go i am all about adventure